Matthew in the building. B.A. Matthew oh, says, trade D'Lo, Austin, and Dalton connect. We need size and defense. Wow. I'm so that's trade. a lot of offensive firepower the Lakers would be trading. To get somebody like a KD, to get a superstar, would you do this? I'm not trading Dalton Connect. I'm not trading. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances, I'm not trading Dalton Connect. Like, I really think that, like, if he got drafted by, like, like the the what what team is struggling like 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 the uh the Washington Wizards or something he'll be averaging like twenty five points a game as a rookie I seriously do believe that uh right. but for a superstar for a superstar I'm definitely I can't get rid of connect because you still got to think about the future man I know this win now like LeBron brings that he brings that with every organization that he goes to win now win now win now and that's cool but you got to start thinking about the future because he is almost forty years old man. You given the you, you can't mortgage like AR is a part of the future as well, which is be a tough thing to do. D Lo, D Lo is I don't know what he just he just he just a rock in a hard place right now, man. Last question and we out. Who's more valuable to the Lakers' future, Dalton Connect or Anthony Davis? How old is Anthony Davis? Thirty. Thirty one, I want to say. And maybe I should put a cap on the future because, of course, if you're thinking five to ten, you'll definitely say Dalton. But let's just say the one five year window from from now to five years. Who's more valuable as of the future for the Lakers, Dalton or Anthony uh, Davis? And AD, AD, no question about it. The next five years, next five years. So why, so why not pull the trigger on a trade of Dalton to bring in a superstar? I don't think any superstars want to play with LeBron James. You don't think Steph would? No, nah, I don't think. I don't think any. I don't think may, via trade possibly, but I don't. I don't think any superstar literally wants to. Like uh, LeBron is going. I think LeBron is going exactly. He's going through exactly what Kobe went through his last like three, four seasons or whatnot. His last three seasons because he didn't. He got hurt towards Achilles, um, uh, in that little mix, but. Like a lot of players didn't want to go play with Kobe, and I think a lot of players don't want to go play with LeBron. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's because we want to, we want to beat him, opposed to. Join That's what him. I was getting ready to ask you. Is it more or less because it's their opportunity to beat him, or is it because they don't believe in him? Because I find it hard to believe that even, you know, the basketball players like we played the game, so we we know, uh, we can tell. Looking at another player, it, what type of uh, what type of energy, what type of uh, effort he's going to bring that night, that week, that month, uh, we understand and identify injuries just being able to have played the game organized in an organized fashion. But I, I just find it hard to believe that stars wouldn't want to play with LeBron and Kobe because they don't believe in them. Yeah. I would probably feel like yo, it had to be. They think it's okay. This is my time to shine now my Steph Curry moment where I can kind of, you know, get my light on LeBron or on Kobe and shit like that. That's, so, I couldn't, I don't know. So, so to like, we're back to, we're back to the, the, we're back to, to the point where to, to, to be the man, you have to beat the man. Like we're back in that era. Um, and the, for some reason in the 2010s, and I always get on LeBron about this a lot, but like, it wasn't just him. It was James Harden. It was a whole bunch of people who, like they didn't care about beating the best people. They just wanted to join each other. To join the to join the crew. Join the crew. Be a part join, of the crew. Yeah, be a part of the crew. Kick it. Laugh. Go do whatever they gonna do or whatnot. And sometimes that translated to the court, but most cases it didn't. we I think we are out of that era now. We're out of that era. To to now it's like. I really want to be like we need to get like we need to get LeBron out of here. We need to get KD up out of here. We need to get all of these people up out of here and let them know that we're the new, we're the new. We need to get Steph so, out of so here. So you you embracing what the energy Anthony Edwards got with that oh, that it. type that type of energy and the Lucas. I, okay, I love it. I, I, I love it because this is this is what this is what I grew up off of. I should I, I this is what you grew up of too. Yeah. You grew up off right. of as well. Like That's like bro, I don't want to go like I don't want to go join Michael Jordan. He got Scottie Pippen, yeah, sure, but I don't want to go join him. I want to beat him. I want to beat him. I don't want to join. I don't want to join Kobe. I don't want to go through that. I want to beat him. 
For all the latest news and debates on the Los Angeles Lakers, be sure to subscribe here to the Lakers Land platform. Also, don't forget to check out our playback room for our free VIP watch parties to all our Lakers games and, of course, the live Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakersland.